So, you've got a piece of land, but what can you build on it without planning permission? In this video, we're gonna be talking about mobile structures, permanent non-residential buildings, and permanent residential buildings. Mobile structures are a great way to live on land without planning permission. A mobile structure will typically have wheels on it, like a caravan, shepherd's hut, a tiny house on a trailer. A shipping container would even count as a mobile structure, despite it having no wheels. You can place these on your land without planning permission, but you're technically only allowed to live there for 28 days a year. However, this 28-day rule does not seem to be enforced across the UK, so it could be a great option for many people. I know plenty of people who've lived permanently in mobile homes without any problem, as long as they're on their own land. Of course, if you're on someone else's land, you may very well get told to jog on. You can build permanent non-residential buildings on your land too, without planning permission, as long as it's not in a conservation area, a national park, a World Heritage Site, etc, etc. These are known as permitted developments and are typically buildings used for the purposes of forestry and agriculture. For example, you could build a cabin as a tool shed, store, office or shelter in a woodland to aid you to carry out forestry work, whether forestry is your job or merely a minor hobby. You could build a cabin to keep relevant equipment in near your beehives or a cabin to help you with agriculture if you're growing vegetables or keeping livestock. One of the conditions is that these structures are not permanent residences. So you couldn't build a residential mansion and say it's for forestry work. Another condition is that you must notify the local planning authority of what you intend to build. You don't need to ask their permission, you just need to say, hey, this is what I'm doing. There are a few conditions that may apply in terms of the size of the structure or how far it must be from a main road and can vary based on a few factors. For example, buildings erected for the purposes of forestry don't have any size restrictions but must be more than 25 metres from a classified road. Agricultural buildings come with more stringent size restrictions depending on a variety of factors. You can find a detailed description of these conditions and much more in my book which you can get in the link in the description. The government website also specifies the physical parameters you must stick to. In terms of permanent residential buildings you do usually need planning permission to build a house. So it sometimes can be a good idea to look for land that's already been granted planning permission, although it isn't as hard as people think to apply for it. If you already have a house, you can typically erect a shed, insert a window, do a loft conversion, and even an extension without planning permission, as long as you stick to the recommended government parameters. I hope this was helpful for anyone wondering what you can build without planning permission. I'll put a couple links in the description with the size parameters you need to stick to when building certain permitted developments, along with the link to my book. Thanks for watching as always, please make sure you're subscribed, let me know in the comments what experience you've had regarding building without planning permission, and help a brother out by liking the video. This rain has been killing my video. See you next week.